bit of an outfit check in the range. Got these in line. Berkshire. New look, I think. Berkshire Vans. Oosh. Ooh. Bet that background noise was annoying. Let's start that again. I braved the range. I came out with some purchases. Lovely, beautiful cannula plant to go on my windowsill. With, I got three more of these plant pots as well because at the moment my plant pots don't match very frustrating me. Is that the right phrase? It's very frustrating. Okay, so back home now. Then the juicy deets of the Fiat 500. There's one very secret compartment which not many people know of which you will, um, if you're thinking of buying a Fiat, I got you. I didn't find it by accident. Actually, the person who came to fit my black box um, showed us it. He said not many people know it. Quite exciting, really. Anyway, hi, we are in my car, the Fiat 500, and we're going to do a car tour. You might be thinking, Summer, you're not a YouTuber. Why are you doing this? I'm thinking the same thing. But basically, there were two reasons. First reason, I watched a car tour. I'm pretty sure it was after I bought this car. And I learned so much about it that I'd have absolutely no idea if I didn't watch it. And I don't think I would have just happened to find out accidentally. And and I don't like read the manual, it's just boring. So it was really useful, really useful. Second reason, I'm getting rid of the, the baby blue bumper. I'm getting rid of, rid of the Fiat 500. I've bought a new car, so this one's for sale. But obviously we're in Corona time at the moment, so... I'm just going to dive straight in. I'm going to do sort of like three little phases of this video. First one, I'm just going to show you everything, all the physical amenities that the car offers. And then I'm going to show you what I keep in the car personally, like the little additions that I've made. That I think is really good and really helpful as a first new driver and things. Then I'm going to do like a little review of the Fiat 500 and what I think of it, pros and cons, etc, etc, etc. Et Let's go. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick pan of the like front interior. My theme's obviously blue and black in my feet, you get loads of themes. And I'm going to start on the driver's side door to begin with. So that's how you turn, like lock the car. That's how you unlock it from the inside. I didn't know that until watching one of these videos. Here you look after the mirrors. And then if I just go straight to the steering wheel, quite basic. Control the volume, the menu, control the cooling here. My car has blue in me which is like Fiat version of Bluetooth for calling. Doesn't have Bluetooth for music though. Some Fiat's do, mine just doesn't. Become standard, your standard speedometer. I'll just turn it on. So if this is your first time getting a car, you might not know this. So those lights come up, so that's my dash cam. Those lights come up when you first turn the ignition on. And then when you then they stay. When you turn the engine on, they go away. Now that is my seat belt, that is my handbrake. So if I take the handbrake off, that turns off. Put the handbrake on, it goes back on. If any of these lights come up, there's something wrong, you need to get it fixed. But for now, everything's okay. So that is the generic there. Obviously you've got this little bad boy. If I go to the center panel, this is for a Tom Tom sat nav. A lot of people don't know that, I Googled it. So, your standard little walks. This um, controls the volume, your radio, your CD. This is just the menu options. Here you've got the, um, what are they called? <laughs> Good one, Summer. Hazard lights, there you go. This is quite cool. This is city steering. So city steering makes your steering go really, really light. So you can like go around towns and small roads and bendy roads really easy. It's really nice. I like city steering. I only noticed fairly recently when you click it, it says city so that's how you know it's on these are your fog lights pretty standard air conditioning and heating panel this is a start stop so if you don't want start stop click that when you turn the car on it'll turn it off again a bit embarrassing but when i first started when i first got the car and first started driving and my windscreen was all misted up i was wondering why it took so long to demiss and it's because this wasn't pointing here and it'd be pointing here 
So yeah, a bit embarrassing, but don't forget to do that. Then you've got the gear sticks. So gear sticks and fits are pretty high up. Usually gear sticks are down here, but this one's up here. Really nice actually, easy to get used to. You have to pull up to go do reverse. Over here are the window. A bit weird at first, thought passengers don't like it, but it's actually quite easy to get used to. And then if you go on to the passenger side, you've got your glove box. Now it's not a locked glove box, unfortunately but it's a tiny car so there you go i keep in here the manual don't you see that i'll try and get some better lighting but i keep in here the manual the car manual and then you've just got the same door on this side my seats are half leather half material quite nice really um i don't mind it and then you've just got the seat so seats in a fiat there's only four on a fiat 500 at least there's only four seats bit annoying but it's not a family car so it's okay and um they're quite big seats i always keep cushions in my car two cushions and a blanket wish the blanket was blue but oh well okay so i keep quite a few things in my car one picnic blanket and then like the essentials i'll show you this in a minute but this is the main deal so this is the boot space, this comes off obviously, and then there is a spare tyre, so there you go. I also keep an adjustable wrench, this bad boy, is that an adjustable wrench? Yeah. Yeah, basically because I'm too weak to um, change my tyre, and even with the wrench I'm too weak to change the tyre. But yeah, this is just all the essentials. So basically, if you didn't know, Wait. I'm going to show you what I keep in the car, personally. The, the little like nooks and crannies, the things that I fill it with. So, first things first, I'm just going to dive straight in. It is Corona time at the moment. So, with it being Corona time, I have a mask and hand sanitizer. Julie got me this. I got this. So it's staying here because I've got to stay safe probably will keep the sanitizer it has come in useful um since that's been here i also keep tissues you never know when you, when you might need tissues next thing a scraper this one stays in the front and i have another one which i keep in the back but it's summer at the moment so i don't need it have an air freshener i have a cherry one cherry is quite popular this is my current favorite one really really good it's from california scents it's coronado cherry corona Corona, Corona, Corona. <laughs> That's just quite funny. Um, a friend got me this one. Thanks. Very much like it. Next thing, sunglasses. I always keep a pair of sunglasses in my car permanently because you never know when you might need it and you don't want to be dangerous driving. So I keep a big pair and these just stay here. They don't ever leave the car. Another thing that never leaves my car, ladies, hairband. Always put a hairband in your car. You're going to need it. Okay, I have a few more items, not many. Face wipes, they stay in my car constantly. Again, you never know when you might need one. And <laughs> I always keep face wipes, not like um, dental wipes, you know, the anti back wipes, because I might need it for my face. And don't even lie, anyone that uses face wipes has been lazy and has used this on a surface to clean the surface. They're multi-purpose, so we roll with it. Okay, well, two more things, I think. This is one of my favourite things I have in my car. It's Dobble. I don't know if Dobble is just a car game. And I have this because Zoe, my friend Zoe, hey, love you, she um she has Dobble in her car. We're at the pub and we just wanted to play a game or do something. She just runs out and gets Dobble. We have a great time. So since then, I always have Dobble in my car. This is Animal Dobble. And it's been an eval it's been a valuable asset to the car. I love it. So this is the final thing I think that I have in my car. And it's my most favourite because it's dear to me. My grandma got it for me. And it's this, this little evil eye. And evil eyes are supposed to ward off evil. 
basically. And my grandma got it for me. She got she gets it for all the grandchildren when they get a first car. So I keep that for sentimental purposes. Basically, I don't have anything hanging from the mirror. It just distracts me. I prefer clean bases. So yeah. That's all the little amenities that I have in the car. I also keep chewing gum in the car constantly. And then I have simple things like an aux cord. Because how else can you listen to your banging tunes if you haven't got Bluetooth? And then in the back I keep pillows and a blanket. Because they're a great asset to the car as well. So yeah, that is the goods. The goods that Summer's put in her car currently. In the boot I keep... Um, lots of stuff like essentials i got these from tesco but i just keep bags like air freshener this is the de-icer this here is screen wash and then here i've got like another glove and scraper always good picnic blanket i keep water bottles and then i keep tissues as well because you never know when you might need them and they're just sitting there and they're useful okay so i think i've shown you all the physical amenities of the car i'm just gonna dive straight in with the deets my experience over the past year with the fiat 500 let's go for it first thing i'm going to mention get a dash cam whether you have been driving for however many years or this is your very first car get a dash cam i have a front and rear dash cam and it's next based dash cam but i cannot exaggerate it enough just get one get a dash cam just do it for me please anyway the deets the gossip so this is a small car obviously small cars mean it's difficult to do certain things this is a small car it's not a family car the thing is it's only ever going to be you and your mate or you and your boyfriend sat in the car let's be real here you're never going to have everyone in here i filled this car four times in the past year four times so don't be worried about it being a small car it's actually quite airy quite big it's basically a tardis is what i'm saying if you need more space just fold down the seats you you're gonna have a great time and it's easy to park basically you can park anywhere even in sainsbury's and i hate parking in sainsbury's because of stupid bubble lines do not get caught up about the like the color and the theme and like the interior of the car this was the fifth fear that i drove the first one i drove beautiful beautiful ruby red cream interior all buttons Mmm, so beautiful. I drove it and the clutch was utterly disgusting. So, didn't buy it, obviously. Carried on, carried on. Yellow one, a beige one. Oh, beige one. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. And they looked so pretty, but they just didn't drive right. So I chose the one which drove right. Choose the car that drives the nicest over the Fiat that looks the nicest. Because all Fiat 500s are quirky and lovely. They're a typical white girl car okay and that's okay you know if you're a lad you want to drive a fiat or you want to buy a fiat fully encourage you it's 2020 go for it do it your girlfriend will love you or your boyfriend who cares anyway it's a beautiful car it doesn't matter if it's yellow or got a cream interior or full leather seats or checkered seats make sure you drive it right before make sure you prioritize the drive of it over the look of it because all of them are beautiful anyway i do wish that the fiat had more locked storage at first it was very weird to get used to having a glove box that you didn't pull down that was just open i might have been just fortunate because i was used to my parents having lockable things and slidey things so it was a bit weird but i got used to it in the end like i am used to it having everything open like it's okay i don't mind i do really like the sunroof sunroof's pretty pretty nice but yeah, if you're looking for a Fiat, especially as a like, first car or second car, whatever, I think it's really lovely. So I think it is about time I wrap up the video. If you think about getting a Fiat 500, hope this helped. If you have a Fiat 500, hope you learned something. They're great quirky cars. I encourage you to get one. Fun fact, apparently they're the safest car because they've got so many airbags too. Always good. Anyway. Bye now. We should do transition. Ready? Oh, and she's back. Not sure if I'm going to carry on the YouTube. However, give it a like. Give it a subscribe. Bye. <laughs>